So your art was stolen, what now? In this video, we're gonna talk about the options after your work is stolen online. Tony here, we talk art and design tech. Subscribe for more. This is not legal advice. Contact the company or person that has used your work. Resist the urge to go off. I know you're mad, you're boiling, but resist it. If you can resolve the issue at this step, it will save you time and money. If you decide to go the legal route, let me inform you of some things, okay? So inform them that your work was uncredited or used to sell items without your permission. Give them a date to remove the work by and wait for their response. If they don't remove the item of your work, make sure you know the terms of the platform you're trying to issue the copyright claim on. If you provide progress pictures or videos of your work while creating it, or even like an Instagram post of your progression while creating your artwork, it can be very helpful in providing and proving that you are the originator of the artwork. If you're dealing with a company using your artwork to sell products and they have not removed your artwork or the products, here are some options. Take them to court. If you have deep pockets, this option is your way out, okay? So you take a large US or international company and you go to court and for them using your work to sell courses, to sell digital products or within a gallery. Oh my goodness, that's scary, right? Or for merch. The legal fees can cost up to $10,000 and sometimes rewards are as little as $500 in compensation. There have been cases when artists have gotten justice and one in particular winning $5,000, but they are few and far between, especially for the lesser known artists and large size companies that feature fast fashions. DMCA is another option, or Digital Millennium Copyright Act. This method allows you to notify that your work is being used without your knowledge and issues a request for it to be taken down. In some cases, Google has removed work under copyright infringement or DMCA. Some companies will drop the item to avoid the negative image online if you post about it on social media, but this can be a gamble, especially if it's done before contacting them first and it can get really messy really quick. Especially when it's tit for tat and it's he said, she said, unproven things. Now walking away from the company monster and going to the individual monster, okay? For individuals using your artwork online to print on shirts, mugs, posters, etc., without your knowledge, it can be much harder to track them down. Like you can reach out to them and request that they delete the uncredited post of your work or the product online, but they can still have a copy of it on their computer, they can easily upload it again, or they can have a hidden another separate account, making it hard to justify reaching out to them in the first place. If you share your work online, you're sharing it online. This can result in people doing a number of things with your work that you didn't intend when you first posted online. I've even seen people take artists' work and put it as their profile image. I don't know if that's the thing people get frustrated about, but your work is out there, right? So watch this video next to find out how to keep your work from being stolen in the first place.